Brand new is the Lil Soaker from Kiddo. I introduced it to you in episode 6 of Diaper News and have now tested it in detail. In this video, I show you how it looks, whether the diaper is comfortable. We also take a look at the suction performance and, of course, the price performance ratio. It is sold by Diaper Minister, who provided it to me for the test, thanks for that. If you don't know Diaper Minister yet, the large store from Europe has specialized in products for ABDL. There is an extensive range of currently almost 100 different diapers, which you can sort by different criteria. For example, with foil or cotton outside, depending on what you prefer. In addition to the Lil Soaker, there are also many other diapers that I have tested in my previous videos and accessories such as boosters, creams or protective mats for the bed. Also worth a look are the numerous other things from the ABDL section. In addition to pied chamas and pacifiers, for example, various bodysuits are offered, both cute printed and plainer. If you like childish printed underpants, you'll find plenty to fit adults at Diaper Minister. The same goes for some other clothing items, dungarees, t-shirts, caps like the Peak ABU cap, and more. I've ordered there several times for over a year. You can see one of them in my video from October 2022, it came discreetly packaged like all the others so far. You can check it out for yourself at diaper-minister.com. Use the coupon code, Windell TV 10 inches to get 10% off the entire assortment, with no minimum or maximum order. You can find the links in the video description. We continue with the Lil Soaker. I had already mentioned in the diaper news episode that the package is quite striking, it is completely in red, whereas many other diapers use a transparent film. Here, the package was not only completely colored, but there is a thoughtful design behind it, which represents a complete fire truck and goes into great detail in some places. On top the ladder of the fire truck, on the front side the tires, where you have the size and number of diapers cleverly built into the picture. Just so the name or manufacturer, all this looks very appropriate, as it could be on a real car. In front you can see the bear as the driver and a license plate that stands for, soggy, in leet language. On the side, it is again equipped with hoses and axes, fitting to the fire truck. True, there are now a few other packs that are also more heavily printed. But I haven't seen this in such detail on any others yet. One can argue whether this is necessary, after all, the contents are the most important thing. In any case, Kiddo has taken a lot of trouble here, so that the motif already fits from the package to the detail. At the top, the package is somewhat punched out, like the other new ones from Kiddo. The complete opening still did not work smoothly, so I tried it at the bottom, as with the crinkles it works better there, because there is the seam. With one hand it gets a little difficult, but with two hands you can remove the diapers well. They are not so extremely pressed into the package, as with crinkles. Therefore, the leakage protection also stands perfectly, you do not have to fold or knead them. I find this more pleasant, because with crinkles you now always have to check whether the side cuffs stick firmly to the diaper. The motif on the front adhesive surface is a teddy in a fire truck, which should hardly be surprising given the packaging. Unlike the package, the teddy is on the back of the car and the water is flowing. The front motif is quite colorful, because it also has a background color in the adhesive area. It even extends further on the sides, i.e. in the area that disappears under the side parts after sticking. After the adhesive area, the rest of the diaper is also printed. A hose runs over the entire surface and in several places you can see water running out of it. It shouldn't be a coincidence that such a spot is in the front slightly below the adhesives, where many of you have it running into your diaper when you use it. I spotted a similar illusion on the Cloudry superheroes, but they're on the bottom where the manufacturer has printed, smash. Inside, it has a high spill guard that still leaves enough room to further boost suction with an insert, often called a booster pad, if needed. The side panels are completely colored in bold fire engine red, which continues as stripes down the sides. Viewed from the side, the diaper is therefore completely red. In addition, another tube runs along the edges. Overall, an eye-catching design that stands out due to the choice of colors. Qualitatively, the prints are not to be criticized, strong colors were used, which look higher quality than pampers. The diaper is closed with reusable plastic adhesives. They are easy to stick on and, especially in the beginning, easy to remove again if you have not placed them so well. After a while, you need a little more strength, but even then it is possible to re-glue without any problems. For example, if the diaper no longer fits so well because it has become fuller and heavier. There are no problems here. The adhesives also withstand greater weight, which they inevitably have to do in the practical test because the diaper is filled to its load limit. 
When empty, a single diaper weighs 219 grams, which is in the upper range of my previously tested diapers, so it's not the thinnest, but rather a thicker diaper that you can clearly feel. Sitting down, as I always do in the everyday test, it reached a maximum weight of over 1.9 kilograms, a good result to be proud of. Let's look at it in comparison to the price. A pack of 10 costs 23.90 euros, so 2 euros and 39 cents per diaper. That's cheaper than, for example, the candy fluff, which achieved a slightly lower absorbency in the test than the firefighter kiddo. And if you order with the Diaper TV 10 inches coupon that Diaper Minister provided for you, the package price is reduced by 2 euros and 39 cents to 21 euros and 51 cents, so one diaper costs only 2 euros and 15 cents. This brings us to a challenge to crinkles, which are only 64 cents cheaper at around 1 euro and 51 cents, but not on the same level as Lil Soaker in terms of quality. One possible downside I see here, it's only available in sizes M and L. The largest size goes up to 130 centimeters and will probably be enough for most of you. For a few, that's too small, in which case the only option is to switch to another diaper. Crinkles, for example, still offers XL up to 170 centimeters. Since this affects a minority, many new diapers are no longer offered in XL. I've noticed this with others as well, sometimes in tests or diaper news. Each size must be produced and stored separately, which of course causes costs. Therefore, it is probably increasingly weighed whether it is worth it. From the fit, the soaker diaper comes out similar to others of the brand kiddo. There are meanwhile six pieces. To all, I have already made a practical test, except the also new Teddy's Ultra, here is a test in work and follow soon. The outer material of the Lil Soaker is, as you may have already seen, made of foil. It is rather matte and softer, not as extremely soft as, for example, the puppers, but still feels comfortable. Due to the good fit, all diapers tested held up quite well. Even the worst was 1.7 kilograms, so not an extremely large outlier to the best value of 1.9 kilos. When it did leak, it almost always happened while sitting down, I once deliberately did not sit down and over 2 kilos was no problem. Here, however, it was completely soaked, so that it held tight when standing, but when sitting down it could no longer hold everything and began to leak. By the way, in the comparison with the other diapers from my tests, you can see well how much the design of the new kiddo stands out. The little paws from Abu, for example, has a colored edge in blue and the side parts in green, which was quite striking at the time. Even against that, the fire engine red shines stronger. It looks similar with the rest. Red is generally a rather rare color. Although there are some diapers that more or less strongly go in the direction of pink. This is the first time I've seen such a focus on red. Actually surprising, because fire engines are not rare toys for children, so it is obvious to print them as motifs on ABDL diapers. This is already the case with normal cars and other toys such as building blocks. How one likes the design is always very subjective. I find the motifs and also the color tone appealing. I also like the high quality. After Pampers increasingly saves on color, I had feared that the ABDL manufacturers might also go in that direction. I am all the more pleased that there are still no signs in this direction. The Rear's Rebel in pink is one of the few exceptions where I am not satisfied with the print quality. Regardless of the appearance, the diaper convinced in the practical test, it offers high absorbency, fits well and is available at a reasonable price. As always, you should not rely on the package prices, as Rear's, for example, usually contain 12 pieces, here there are 10. This is not a peculiarity of kiddo. Other manufacturers also use smaller packs, Bambino, for example, even contains only 8 pieces. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but those who need fewer diapers or don't have that much money may be happy with smaller packages. The package price can therefore not be compared directly. Therefore, I always calculate on the unit price and here kiddo is in a reasonable range. If you include the coupon, it is probably currently the cheapest diaper with such high absorbency. It convinced me and I will continue to wear it after the test. But before that, it's the turn of Teddy's Ultra, which also comes from Kiddo and was recently released. If you haven't heard of it yet, I recommend Diaper News Episode 7, where I introduced it to you. Is also exciting because Kiddo continues to add a unique feature to each diaper that hasn't been available in the combination before. So more than just a different design. What do you think of the new firefighter diaper?
After many people have watched the Diaper News episode, I'm curious to hear your opinion. If you'd like to try it out, you can find the links in the video description. Otherwise, take a look at the margin, there are more practical tests as well as a playlist of the news, in which I inform you about all the news from the ABDL area. Stay dry, until the next video.